Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the Senior Minister of State for that clarification. Um, in that vein, uh, can I ask the Senior Minister of State uh, with regard to the decision earlier this week uh, to stop uh, usage of face shields except for certain, individ certain uh, uh, classes of individuals, uh, how was that decision originally taken to allow for face shields and then a U-turn made thereafter uh, to uh, limit it to specific classes. I mean, how did that information change from the health experts, I imagine, that uh, the government has access to? Mr. Speaker, I think the MTF has explained why there was a change in the advisory on the use of face shoes. Uh, and this is, as Mr. Singh himself alluded to, based on the advice from medical professionals. I understand that, uh, SMS. Uh, can I ask, what were the reasons given by those experts for that change? Mr. Speaker, I'm not a doctor, so I am not equipped to provide the medical reasons to answer Mr. Singh's question in detail. Mr. Gunn would like to elaborate. But I think the, the MTF and the medical professionals have provided their explanation. It is about safety. It is about protecting everybody's health and safety. Mr. Gunn Kim Byung. Mr. Speaker, perhaps I could assist in explaining the rationale behind. As we move into uh, phase one of our opening, we will see increased uh, interaction among, within the community, among people, and therefore we will have to make sure that additional safeguards are put in place. And given that facials, facials do not provide a full coverage of your face and your uh, nose and your mouth, uh, because there are gaps between the shield and your face, and therefore it poses certain risks. These risks are less uh, uh, of a concern during the circuit breaker period when most people are asked to stay home and therefore we allow face shields to be used. But when we open up the community and, uh, and the economy, we expect more interaction and therefore we need to enhance the protection where possible. And therefore we encourage people to use, face, uh, to use a full face mask in, instead of a face shield. But we still allow face shields to be used in specific uh, situations where mask wearing is not practical. One example which we gave was uh, during teaching and therefore the teachers need to make sure that uh, their teaching is clearly heard and therefore it's important for them uh, to be able to see and to interact with the uh, children. We therefore allow uh, face shields to be used for teaching. But in other circumstances, uh, we will require masks to be used. Mr. Chi. to reiterate that the reason for my clarification in the first place was to highlight that the government has been open and transparent in our communications on the use of masks since the beginning, since the late June, uh, sorry, late January, I'm sorry, late January period when the virus first emerged in Singapore. So I think that is really my key point, that we have publicly explained that, and these are all in the public domain. Thank you, sir.